Hey, first grade, I've been looking for a good video on friction, but I really think this book is the best one I could find, and it's not an audio book, so I'm going to have to read it to you, or you can read it to yourself, um, and it is an epic book, but you don't have to go through epic because I'm doing it in a video. All right, let's see. So the, it's called Why Do Moving Objects Slow Down? A Look at Friction. Ooh, hmm. All right, I guess we're going to learn what friction is. We have our table of contents here. Of course, this one just says contents. What is friction? Friction in water and air on page 10. Friction in weight on page 17. Good and bad friction on page 19. Lubrication on page 24. And then it's got some activities and a glossary, further reading, and an index. What is friction? Friction is a force created by rubbing. A baseball player rubs against the ground while sliding into home plate. Friction slows things down or makes them stop. A player stops moving forward when he rubs against the ground. A toy car creates fiction when it rolls across the floor. Its wheels rub on the floor. The rubbing makes the car slow down and stop. Friction is the reason the toy car eventually stops. Without friction, the car would just keep rolling on, would keep on rolling and rolling. Some surfaces have many bumps and grooves. These surfaces are rough. They make a lot of friction. Carpet makes a lot of friction. If you rolled a toy car across this carpet, the car would quickly stop. Other surfaces have few bumps and grooves. These surfaces are smooth. They make just a little friction. Ice makes only a little friction. That's why stopping on, on <laughs> ice skates can be tricky. Every surface makes some amount of friction. That's because every surface has some bumps and grooves. This glass goldfish bowl is very smooth, but even glass has bumps and grooves. Friction in water and air. Water is a liquid. An object makes friction when it moves through, the, through a liquid. These dolphins make friction as they swim through the water. Their skin rubs against the water. Friction in the water slows down or makes them stop, just like it does on land. Friction slows swimmers down. Outside of a boat, the outside of a boat is smooth. A smooth boat makes little friction in the water. The boat can go fast. Swimmers wear smooth swimsuits and caps. Swimmers can swim faster if they make little friction. An object makes friction when it moves through a gas. Air is made of gases. Friction in the air is called air resistance. Air resistance slows things down or makes them stop. Air resistance slows down this parachute. Air resistance lets parachutes drift gently to the ground. Air resistance slows down cars and trucks too. Air rubs against the vehicles as they move friction and weight. Heavier objects make more friction. It is easy to pull an empty sled. The sled rests lightly on the ground. There is little friction. A sled with someone on it pushes hard against the ground. There is a lot of friction. You need to use a strong force to pull the sled. It takes a lot of force to pull this sled. Good and bad friction. Friction can be very helpful. Friction keeps us from slipping. These bumps and grooves on the bottom of shoes add friction when you're climbing. Without friction, your feet would slip out from under you. Friction also helps us grip a bottle cap. The bumps and grooves in our skin make friction. So do the grooves on the bottle cap. The friction stops our fingers from slipping off the cap. When you're unscrewing a bottle cap, you don't want your fingers to move. You want them to stay in place so that you can open the cap. Friction can be a problem too. Friction makes heat. You may have seen this if you've ever rubbed your hands together. The rubbing creates heat. 
but too much heat can make machines start on fire. Let's make some friction with our hands. Are they warming up? You've probably seen me do that in math when I'm cold. Friction made this car engine overheat. Cars use more gas because of friction. This driver steps on the gas when air resistance slows down her car. Stepping on the gas makes the car go faster, but cars pollute when they use a lot of gas. Stepping on the gas makes a car give off pollution. Lubrication. Lubrication can reduce friction. Lubrication is created by putting a slippery substance, such as oil, on an object. The slippery substance smooths the object. Putting wax on skis gives the skis less friction. Then the skis can move quickly on the snow. Putting grease on a bike chain gives the chain less friction. Putting water on a plastic slide gives the slide less friction. Friction is an important force. People need it to work, travel, and play. Ooh, here's an activity. Get a grip. A gymnast powders his hands before grabbing the ring. A batter wears gloves when she holds the bat. The powder and the gloves both create more friction. Friction helps you grip objects. How do different substances affect your ability to grip? Try this experiment. You need a marble, a plastic sandwich bag, and a metal spoon. It's ice cubes, a hand towel, talcum powder, that's baby powder, and vegetable oil. It says use your thumbs and point your finger to pick up the marble. Then pick it up, pick up the sandwich bag, the metal spoon, and an ice cube. Which objects were the easiest to pick up? Which were the hardest? Dry your hands on the towel if it's wet from picking up the ice. Now dip your finger and thumb into the talcum powder. Pick the objects up again. Were any easier or harder to pick up? Clean and dry your hands. Next, dip your finger and thumb in the vegetable oil. Once again, try picking up all the objects. Were any easier or harder to pick up this time? Now, you don't have to do that one because I have a separate friction activity for you in Seesaw. But some of you might want to go be scientist. And there's your glossary. This is an epic, remember, so if you want to go back and read some more, you sure can. And they have some science... Um, website links that you can go to or some other books that you could read. And there's your index. All right. And photos. And we are done. Thank you for reading with me first grade.